I'm yeah. very happy to have you here. Uh, it's very nice to have you in New York. You and I have an opposite situation. I live in New York. My brother lives in L.A. You live in L.A. Your brother lives in New York. Do you right. get a chance to hang out with him? I get a chance every time I come to New York. This time around, I missed him because he's, uh, he's traveling. So Okay. So this time around, Does I Does he take it personally that you just chose to come when he was on the road? Yeah, I don't know about that, but... Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. But it's always nice to see him. Always, when I come to New York, it's like... We always go out. And, Does he yeah. sort of know how to, how to treat you to the best of the city when you're here? He's a connoisseur of uh, pizza restaurants. Oh, that's good. You know. That's and, the right uh, kind of connoisseur to be around. Yeah, you know, and a, and a good steak, too. You know? Okay. Are you picky with pizza? Because people always ask me what my favorite pizza is, and I have to say all pizza. Um, no, there's, a, there's really good pizza. Yeah. And then there's all pizza. Yeah, I think yeah. that's fair. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's no, like, bad. I, I mean, well, yeah, yeah, there's some LA, bad pizza. LA, yeah, there's some bad pizza, yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. 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 Uh, I'm so excited uh, that there is a sequel to Sicario, which was a, a movie from a couple years ago that I absolutely loved. Um, were you surprised that this came back around to tell more of this story? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, skept <laughs> you know, uh, the, the, the first... Um, the first movie was, I thought, a good movie. And so had a great group of filmmakers uh, working on it. So when they decided to do this one, um, I was a little skeptical because uh, we were gonna have a new director, mm -hmm. a new director of photography. So, uh, but the story that, um, that the writer wrote, uh, Taylor Sheridan, was um, very original and unpredictable. I had a lot of those like oh, moments that, yeah. that, I, that I, I felt when I, when I read it, I felt like, hey, you know what, let's tackle it. That's a very exciting. And, the, and uh, you must have felt the character, your, the character you played uh, was so wonderful in the first film. Do you feel like it changed to a place to be uh, interesting to take it on again? Yeah, I think he, evol he evolves quite a bit in, um, in this uh, story, in the new uh, Sicario Day of the Soldado. He kind of like, I like to say he, you know, in the first one we meet him and he's like a hitman, a heartless, uh, one-track mind kind of guy uh, bent on revenge. And in this one, I think that... It's uh, through his journey, I think we, we, we find out that he, he's rehabilitated to an extent. He's not innocent, but he's rehabilitated uh, through this uh, relationship that he has with this young girl called Isabella, played by Isabella Moner. Yeah. That's really exciting. I can't wait to see it. I, like I said, I love the first one. Uh, I also want to ask, in recent years, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, uh, Avengers, uh, Star Wars... Are those uh, exciting movies to be a part of? Were those the kind of movies that, if you were a kid, you would have enjoyed? Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the way I feel. Big time. Yeah. Big time. It's like, uh, it's like uh, going back to the future. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, and I'm very lucky that uh, Star Wars uh, called, uh, you know, the director, Ryan Johnson of uh, The Last Jedi. He called me up, and I said, yeah, no problem. And so did um, James Gunn when he called me up to play the collector in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So that's... a uh, you know, as a, as an actor's dream. Yeah. You know, yeah. Just the call, any Just call, the, any yeah. call, any call. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, as any an actor, call, yeah. if your phone rings and it's not like the bill collector, you're like, this is a good day. Yeah, it's a good day for sure. <laughs> so I, 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 I know on, on probably all these projects, uh, scripts are like tightly guarded secrets, and okay. for Star Wars. Uh, is it true that they had to bring a tablet to your house and someone had to wait outside while you read it? Yeah, they bring a they bring a, a like an iPad with uh, with the code and the whole bit and the script is right there and it was really uh, I'm a slow reader, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, it, uh, you know, usually it can take me um, eight, ten hours to really read a script. Uh -huh. I, mean, I, I feel like you it. take some breaks. And, yeah, yeah. No, of course I do. I daydream quite a bit. Uh -huh. I digress. <laughs> But, uh, but, you know, a Star Wars script, it's, uh, it's got a lot of weird names and uh, yeah, that it's makes like sense. a new language. And, uh, <laughs> so it took a long time. So that guy, that poor guy was waiting for, I'd say, about eight hours. <laughs> yeah. hours yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you give him a chair or anything? Was he sitting in a car? What was he doing? Uh, um, uh, no, I didn't. I, <laughs> I kind of forgot that he was there. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> That's, they say that's one of the side effects of daydreaming. <laughs> you forget where you are. Yeah, exactly. Or who you are. You have a you have a seven year old yes, uh, daughter. Do, yeah. Does she? Are, are these movies? Do they appeal to her? Your movies? Or what are the movies she's well, into? She really loves, um, you know, uh, the the Star Wars. She likes the Star Wars uh, movie that I've done. I mean, of course, she's not going to be able to see Sicario: Day of the Soldado. Right. Yeah. Well, not years. until she saw the first Sicario. Right, right, so what makes exactly, sense? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the tunnel. <laughs> yeah. um, but uh, you know what movie she really loves? And uh, it, uh, she's a big fan of Josh Brolin in uh, uh, The Goonies. Oh, Goonies, sure. Oh, yeah. 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 It's, it's really funny because. Uh, so she, she met Josh? She hasn't. Okay, gotcha. But uh, but she will. But uh, she might be surprised when she sees him. But I don't think he's changed that much. Yeah, we actually we have side by sides of a uh, uh, modern day uh, Brolin and Goonies Brolin. Yeah, the same size call. Yeah, oh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Big, he does have a big head, he right? Does have a big head. You've yeah. worked with him uh, up close and personal. I've worked with him on five projects. Five movies. Yeah. Two Sicarios. Yeah. What are the what else? Uh, the Avengers. Right, of course. Uh, Inherent Vice. Um, Paul Thomas Anderson and with Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, and uh, what else did I do? I did a TV show early on in my career. Um, when I was 20, probably, and he was the lead. It was called Private Eye. Okay. A guest star in a TV show. Gotcha. He, that's where I met him. Oh, that's fantastic. And, so, and yeah. when you worked together, because I guess then it was probably at least a decade before you worked together again, did he remember you from Private Eye? I hope he did. <laughs> I, I never asked, but yeah. I think he did. I think he did, yeah. God.